Yo, what's up everybody? Dolls Game back with another video and today I'm going to be teaching all the newcomers how to get 100k net worth in one day. So first thing you want to do, head to auctions. Start the auctions ASAP. Get what you need, get as many items as you can and go get to start selling them. I did an auction for you guys to show you literally how it looks like you just place all your items on the table or whatever and NPCs will come and offer on your item. So for you newcomers, take what you can get. Literally this 12%, 16%, you got a chance at getting gems. You want to use gems for these type of auctions right here. But make sure if you do this mansion house, you have 11,000 cash. Another thing is... Uh, these locks I mean safes if you get a safe I'll show you guys where you can unlock it right here is a locksmith let's head there and boom you just go here and boom see okay I have a rare safe in there let's see what I get I got a statue worth 1600 so yes the safe was worth 2500 but for me it's not a loss for you it would be so like you definitely gotta try to get like 50% or you can go and grade it so let me show you guys where the grading shop is so here's the grading shop let's head there and right here we have the grading shop say I wanted to get that item graded let's see what we get on this we got a bronze that's an L but say we want to get that statue graded we get the statue graded and it takes 10 minutes so Let's see if a, even getting a bronze will bring that price up to 2500 or more. Another place you want to go to is Hank's Garage. So let's head there. Hank's Garage, you just go up to him and talk to Hank. And he'll give you a quest. And once you complete the quest, you'll get gems. You'll get these gems right here. Here's the exchange. Right here is a place you want to avoid. You are able to take your cash and exchange it like this. Like, say, you know, you wanted to exchange just like just the smallest amount that you can do, which is 30k. You got 30k, you're trying to get to 100k net worth. This is the not the smartest way to do it. Those 216 jobs you can get fast, so do not worry about that. That 30k you at the start is going to be a struggle to get. So, uh, if you literally play this for a while in one day so like literally within like four or five hours I guarantee you can build up to 100k net worth get trading unlocked and then you can trade now if you get an item out of a storage unit and it has like a little like wrench on it with a circle around it and it's red this is where you want to go you want to come to the repair shop you want to interact with what's his name I don't know but you want to interact with him and this you'll have a selection of your items that you need to be repaired because repaired items you can't place on the floor or anything you can't get repaired items graded so basically repair your items and then grade them and now the game is a lot easier for anyone who's new so there's there was an update not too long ago the airport update let's head there here you're able to come and get the ticket like if you got a plane ticket you found it in the auction you do these auctions they're free as long as you got a ticket you just need the ticket and it's free but make sure you have 20,000 required now having this much and you're new can be very risky so make sure you're like if you have the gems use them for that uh like the exchange thing like, I mean, or whatever, not the exchange, the, um, what do you call it? I forgot already. But when you go to the uh, auctions, uh, you'll see, like, there's a little calculator. I think it's calculate, yeah. You calculate or estimate, and it's only five gems. It's safe to do that if you're new. And here is the shelf shop. This is another way, yeah, this is another area where you can use your gems. So right here we have just the second, you know, self second shelf pack. It's only five. So that's very cheap. You have a plus 32.5% customer tip chance. So we go over here to the next one. You have 35% for 15 and it just goes up and up and up. 
this is where I went as my second one. Uh, shelf pack 10. Wait, no, I didn't. What am I talking about? I went with this one right here. I went with shelf pack 6. 42.5% customer tip chance. You'll see the difference from the basic one that you have. It's obviously going to be more tips. And yes, it's worth the 300. That's where I upgraded. Most people upgrade to uh, shelf pack 5. It's 150 or 40% chance. But say... You know, you get to where I'm at and you, you're you debating on buying Shelf Pack 10. 52.5% customer tip chance for 3000 Is it worth it? Yes. You get tips a lot. I get tips literally mostly from everyone I sell to. So, yeah. Another thing is, say uh, you want to go to somebody's plot or shop. You want to buy something. So, like, say I want to buy this. He just has that display so it won't pop up as... You know selling so like if I go over here and I want to buy one of these items it should let me buy it it's not even let me okay make offer boom so if I want to send an offer I could literally just offer let's say 30% I just offer 30% for that he'll probably take it or she they took it boom 30% and now when you go to your shop you play, place that item down. Okay, come on, game. Place that item down. And now you accept anything 31% and above. If it's from an NPC or from another player. That way, you done made profit. That's another way you can do it. So, there you go. If you're new and you have some Robux to spend, Teleport is the cheapest. It's around 150 Uh Just... Grab that. That's the most worth. I mean, ah, that's the most worth it you're gonna get for the amount of Robux. If you have extra after buying that, get the lucky appraisal because you cannot get replicas. You do not want to get replicas. It drops the value of whatever you create. And that there is how you can get a hundred k net worth in just one day. So. If you like the video, make sure you leave a like on the video and make sure you subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss an upload because you already know your boy always uploading great content. Bet y'all thought I forgot about y'all. I told y'all in the next video I was announcing the giveaway winner. So this is all the people that have entered the giveaway. There was other people, but they didn't enter their Roblox username. So... That was literally one of the things I said, like people were saying, I want to enter and yeah, okay. I get that, but you got to comment your username. I can't, I'm not just going to put you into the giveaway with your YouTube name. Like that, like anybody could just put that YouTube name and say, oh, you know, I, that's me. Like, come on. So let's see who is winning the two portals. Who will it be? Dream XD five eight seven three five.